Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron Fall using a special mod called Thousand Week Rake, led by the God of Death, Mr. Handsome, but the Dark Pearl, Gottenland. The model shoots <clears throat> Staffel Colony of German Eastern Europe, with a land formerly known as Crimea, signed to Reinhard Daddy Hadra. She was given the task to turn Gottenland into an Aryan... Paradise. Hadrish was able to accomplish this task with full efficiency, including the <clears throat> removal of the old population and its resettlement by eager German settlers within three whole years. Crimea turned into nothing but a distant memory. Gotland is close to being fully Germanized, and nowadays it's a fan fanatical dictatorship that acts highly autonomously from Germania. Under a cult of personality around Reinhard Daddy, while also serving as a key tourism and propaganda region of the Reich under the Strength Through Joy program for Hedrisch and Gotenland, but his military autarky always begins with Gottesche politics, which we do get some political power. And do we have anything here special for political power? We get to fortify the silos, Ooh. or the Taiwas, in which we get three nukes. That's actually very cool. Um, before we do that, do we really need political power here? Um, actually, it wouldn't be too bad. Usually in Thousand Week Reich, whenever we choose a company here, ooh, more artillery attack, we lose consumer goods whenever we choose this stuff. But it doesn't look like it's happening right now, so we don't really need the political power as much, but military autarky. The fatherland has fallen into chaos, leaving the colonists on the Crimean Peninsula stranded and alone. In order to secure the existence of the uh, certain race in these lands, we must adopt a system of total self-reliance, backed by a Spartan military force. Ah, I'm ready to play. Who cares about the GDP mechanic right now when we have four whole divisions of S. S. Panzer Grenadier Divisions, which are 13 combo with, which has left quite a bit of hardness. The division's 79% hard. Uh, armor is okay. Piercing is pretty good. Defense is not bad. It's very good, actually. But we have four divisions of the APCs, a thing of motorized artillery, and a few medium tank destroyers. Yeah. I don't know, man. This division template's very weird. We only have three. We have that one. We have SS Panzer Divisions with main battle tanks, which I honestly prefer. They have way more armor, way more strength. Actually, they have less defense than the other divisions, but Egyptian martial law. The death of seven Belgian Indonesian National Revolt. The Bengal Truce. Just normal thousand week Reich stuff. And we also have some infantry too, but. Gotasha Lutwafa? Gotasha Hair. Gottenland is no doubt the jewel of the SS. In order to keep that it that way, we will need to re-examine our policy with the military. On the one hand, we could expand our purview and create, recruit a less elite army, but allow us to expand our numbers. Commercially, we could tighten recruitment restrictions and form a more austere military, but one with the highest level of discipline and organization. And right now, we literally only have a single research slot, which is just dreadfully painful. Oh my goodness. Why do we have two... Is this on loan? Um, I never use loan stuff. To factory output. Um, wartime. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, hold on. Wartime rifles? I mean, obviously that's better to make. But, okay. So we probably, don't, I don't want that one. Let's just keep that one there for now. Basic anti-tank. Okay, sure. Early artillery? Yeah, this one is definitely better to make. Um, yeah, I guess we definitely need some of that. Basic anti-tank as well, and some support equipment we're going to need, and probably some motorized, and no mechanized, of course. But APCs, 50s APCs, I guess they're basically the exact same, right? So, I could be wrong. Is there any difference between the APCs here? Motorized, wartime motorized. Uh, is, it over, is it over here? APCs, mechanized, 50s, yeah. They're pretty much all exactly the same. Um... Yeah, I didn't realize that, so, my bad. We got the APCs, artillery, anti-air. I get that anti-air. We're gonna need some tanks. Light tanks are okay. Europe's best beach. Out of the countless amount of tourists from all over the Reich and Europe, the famous Gotia Beach near the Gotische capital is rated as the best beach resort in the Europe, clearly showing the proud accomplishments of Gotland and masterful air and engineering. Gotia Beach has been a major source of income for Gotland, generating millions in tourist sales every year. Wunderbar. Wunder, wunder, wunderbar. I guess for now we could also make some, uh, was it Taint Destroyers? Yagth Panthers? 7, 1.8, 90%. 7, 90%. 8, 32, 110. So exactly the same, so I'd rather be able to produce stuff that we have here. Um. Eh, we'll make that one because we can. Who cares? Uh, Wartime Fighters and then some casts. I don't think we'll be able to get all this stuff, but we'll see what happens. We'll do the best we can, right? We'll do the best we possibly can. What do we want? Clear land for industrial use. The bastion of national daddyism. 
The Gottesche Disaster Union has been formed. Total Krieg. An elite force. Auxiliary integration, huh? Versus this stuff. Form the Volkssturm. Formalize the Volkssturm. Oh, infantry support armor. That's not bad. 300 units is... Oh, five Vs is okay. It's not great. Unbreakable lines. Oh, you get another research slot, though. Fortress mentality, which I do like. Or oh, Zunkum's Panzer. I like that one. Helmo Christian Goebbels visits. Helmo Christian Goebbels, son of Joseph Daddy Goebbels, has arrived in Gotland for a vacation. The trip was unannounced and shocked the leadership of Gotland. Reinhard Heydrich greeted Helmut, who arrived to Gotland on an armored train via the Europa train line, offering Helmut a state sponsored trip with throughout hotspots and legendary Gottesche sites within Gotland. However, the true goals of the sponsored trip are well hidden within Heydrich's mind. Let's convince him. Let's impress him. Let's impress him. I want to impress him. Gothic politics. Gothic politics have long been dominated by a high, slightly tweaked version of the Führer Prinzip, like the one that reigns so long in Berlin, now Germania. Here, with Reinhard Heydrich, the Reichsführer as us, most trusted being at the helm of the nation in every sense of the word. Now, every decision going through Heydrich's circle of advisors and favored. Now, the fair beast hungers for more, and we shall provide. Oh, Helmut has been impressed! Helmut Goebbels was fascinated with all the marching and grand tours within Gotenland. Before leaving, Helmut Goebbels remarked on the beauty of Gotenland and suggested telling his father about the wonderful, uh, wonderful achievements of the SS colony. This will surely be an amazing public relations stunt for Gotenland's tourism industry. That's very good. So good. Oh, we can actually do stuff here. Also, a hundred, huh? Actually, we have nothing else over here, really. We can improve workers' conditions, but eh. Oh, I can grab some stuff here, too. Production cost goes way down. I love that. Ooh. Uh, infantry equipment is okay. Design supply, research speed goes down. Ship stuff we don't really care about. Polish, it's not bad either. Production cost and soft attack. Honestly, this, this stuff is all not bad. This gives us more stability. I like that. But I'm not too worried about that. Better research speed, more artillery attack, and more research efficiency gain. Oh my goodness. I want to be able to build faster. 15% more construction speed is really good. Even though quite literally we can't build anything. So I'm not sure if that's really worth getting at all. I don't know what to choose here, really. Motorized and mechanized. I mean, we're using quite a bit of that stuff. That'd be really good, but... Fuel gain per oil, refinery construction speed. I think eventually we will build... I don't know. I like this one a lot. Industry and artillery research speed. Any little bit helps. Ooh, stability, though. Well, fuel gain would be... Actually, fuel gain would be really good, too. Refinery. We're going to build a lot of refineries here, too. You know what? I want to do that one, but... Just get the construction speed. We'll get that one eventually. So we can do that one. Because eventually we get oil theft. It requires Ukrainian raids. We get 50 oil. So maybe I made the wrong decision here. Maybe I did. Maybe not. Modern rocketry program? A, a building rocket site. Oh, nice. But after this one, Ukrainian raids. I kind of want to do that one because we need the steel immediately so we can actually build stuff. But Ukrainian raids. The Untermensch is especially despicable in the territory that was once called Ukraine, with the current Rex Commissar being unable to properly show the subhuman their place. It is time, once more, to assert our supremacy of Europe now, and one day, the entire world. We get 20 steel, we lose 900 manpower, which is fine. We get 150 political power, which is pretty good, so... Um, if that's the case, let's go and just boost this up so we have no more manpower. Just so that, uh... Also, we have the National Spirit, which I do want to show you very soon as well. Uh, Ukrainian Reds. Raids, not Reds. So we have Nazi colonial repression. We have Gottesche tourism industry, which is very good. We have absolute loyalty, which is also very good. As well as memories of Crimea, which hurts us, but whatever. Who cares? They deserve to die. Oil theft. The Christian's god and his mag magnanimity said that the mask or the meek shall fall shall one day inherit the earth yet the false god never accounted for the mighty we shall now show every subhuman and weakling forevermore that the universal principle might makes right what the ubermensch want or wants is his very good and you know what let's get some more stability first screw it stability it up oh hello promises of peace no 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 china denounces vietnam what else is new who cares um, yeah, I like the construction speed, even though we can't really do much with it right now. Resource efficiency game would be so nice. Production cost, we can't even build that much stuff. Hey, they won the EFC, nice, good job, Germany. I ho yeah, we gotta get the other resource slot, too. Oil theft, though. Oh, yes. The Ma Malayan emergency. Good. Look at all that what we have. You know what, screw it. Let's go just grab... Motorize. We already get that. That's pretty good. <sighs> Do we need that many guns? Nuclear win in the UK. Uh-oh. Is it a, well, What are they called? A hung government or something like that? Hung parliament? Mr. Atlee has lost even more seats. Oh, boy. Yeah, you know what? I think we might need more... I don't know. Do we really need more guns? <sighs> Decisions are hard to make. This one's easy to make, though. 
Which isn't too bad. Um, uh, apologize for that sound. That was Discord. Just in the background. Ah, uh, let's go do Mauser. We love Mauser here. Oil stockpile? Not bad. Uh, we can do that one, but let's wait. Because I would rather do what? Clear land for industrial use. Oh, elite force. I want that extra research stop. As much as I want to get the Volkstem, I want to push out. Like, some of these aren't great. Especially... 50s IFVs, I'm not really going to use that, but that extra research slot. As much as I want to do this stuff, wow, 30% more, oh, that's a lot. Yeah, this side, I think it's just better overall, but we can do an elite force. Perhaps that instead of making a large conscripted army, we focus on having a smaller manpower pool that is more selective. That way, we can have more elite strike forces defending our interests. I think we're probably going to need to get some field hospitals eventually. Uh, just, just a feeling, you know, just a feeling. Yeah, we still can't build anything, so... Big sadness, my friends. Big sadness. Can we actually stop trading so much? Or... We do have enough steel, though. Hopefully we can build nothing here. Okay, we have five factories. Yeah, we have some convoys, which... Put them at the bottom. There we go. Hey, at least we got some fuel, though. That's very good. An elite force. Followed up with what? Oh, we're already on service by requirement. That sucks. Panzer Grenadiers? Yeah, we're just gonna beeline for this as fast as possible. Panzer Grenadiers, they were used during the war, and they proved successful then. In order to protect our small amount of troops, we, we should equip them with armored vehicles. This way, they can not only be protected when transporting, but also move a little quicker. Also, we were training our ships as well, just because we could. I guess we still are, huh? Are you guys done? You're docked? You're training definitely. Train until you die. Pretty much. Gives an infinite naval XP. I'll grab that because you can anyways. Screw it. Yeah, as much as I want to get the factories now, we're going to wait. The Greeks of War? Well, I need to play as Greeks probably sometime in this campaign. Or not this campaign, but eventually. Uh, there's a lot of stuff about air stuff. And of course, rocketry. Oh, there's another research slot down there too. I didn't realize that. But yeah, we're going to expand out hopefully. So it comes Panzer. Because we have the Aryan state as well. Revolution in Bulgaria. That's pretty nice. UN resolution falls and fails. Elite force. Nice. Panzer Grenadiers. Very good. And as you can tell, I'm just trying to get more research speed right now. Just just more. End of the Algerian War. But at what cost? Who cares? Untermensch or Untermensch? Theodor Eicke. Very good. Um, I'm not sure which one we're going to go with, so let's wait first. They visit Israel. No one cares. The solution is Sahara. That's fine. Very nice. People's victory in Sweden. You never know. You never know what might happen. Cool. Not bad. Uh, Otto Gila. Ooh, I'm not sure. I'm going to wait first. We might want to get more entrenchments, but, but we'll see. Panzer Grenadiers, infantry support, armor. To make up for our smaller army size, we should put an emphasis on vehicles such as tanks to make up for it. That way, we can send more protected units into battle, with the army following them as opposed to vice versa. This will theoretically save us much needed troops. They join the accord, as expected. Well, good for them. No one cares. Alright, so what does the map look like? So we have Francisco Franco dies. Goodbye, Francisco. Trying to is not looking too bad. New Ordnung is looking very nice, which we are a part of. For now, and of course Canada's in there too. Oh, the Mediterranean pact is there as well, which is okay. Revolution of Baghdad. What are we looking at like now? That's so bad, so bad, so bad, so bad. Oh my goodness, we do make some convoys, but oh my goodness. All right, who do we have here in the cabinet? Frauenfeld, not bad, not great. No other foreign minister. Vesenmaya. Bloody Tuesday. Oh, oh, we can be here. We lose political power and monthly population, but supply consumption goes way down. I don't want to lose any political power though. Kapler, all right, as well as Luna. All right, not bad. Oh, look at that. Oh, got this uh, Panzer Grenadier. 17 combat width. Not bad. That's that's better. What is these? IFVs? Interesting. The armor isn't great, but hey, we'll take it. Who's elect been elected? Warren. Huh. Well, I guess we'll go with armor. That one, that's fine. Now, let's get that extra research slot. Modern mechanized designs. Though we may have highly trained troops in armor, it's nothing if it is composed or comprised of the data armor of the past. To rectify this, we needed to develop cutting-edge technology to effectively enforce our new doctrine. Death of Wojciechowski. Oh, well. He's dead now. How much political power do we get today? 0.86 is not bad, but we just move really fast in this mod, which I love. I'm not sure we're going to need more fuel in the future. We honestly probably will. Is it going to have... This is fishing scheme. I just don't know, man. Clear area for land use. Yeah, factories getting just factories would be good, so good right now. Awesome. It's a little bit ahead of time. Let's grab some industry, shall we? Yeah, let's grab some industry. Hey, Burton sends Victoria's good job, Burton, I guess. 
Um, fuel usage goes down. Armor and heart attack. Cost goes down. And more soft attack. And reliability. And more soft attack. Hmm. Five percent, five percent, five percent. Um, heavy tank is okay. I think we'll go with man AG. After this one, clear area for land use. Yeah, I think that'd be good to get. Clear area for land use. In order to implement them, we need to reproduce the necessary equipment. While God's land is geographically small, there's still land that we can clear for industrial use. We may have to convert some factories, but they will understand it is to advance the SS cause. This we still go down this way. This is more stability and war support as well, so. So comes Panzer, main battle tank stuff. This one's not bad. I mean, this is pretty good. Damage enemy garrisons. Yeah, I get more. Plus one entrenchment is not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. And there goes the Dutch exiles. Tukistan dissolved. Goodbye, Tukistan. Goodbye. Finally, a second research slot. Thank God. Get some more output. Like, just get more output right now. If you want to, you guys could probably train. Um, where are we going to put our factories? Anti-tank, support stuff, yeah. Wartime, motorized stuff. Put you right above the fighters. You'll be fine there. <clears throat> Motorized is more than fine. Uh, artillery attack. Indonesian victory. Yeah, alright. Uh -huh. <coughs> resource efficiency gain. Artillery research speed. Industrial... Yeah, you know what? We'll go with crew. Oh, crap. And then military industry. So we can start working on some millies. Other nations may feed the indulgences by using the workforce to produce material goods, but... We reject such debauchery. We should be putting industry to use for the military, not for frivolous commodities. Oh, well, Hitler's dead. It's time to show the rule of the power of our war machine. So do we get an event about that? We should probably get an event about that, right? Anta Palovich assassinated. Well, there goes him. Oh, no. Things are falling apart. We actually have a city. Look at that. Thank goodness. People are just dying left and right, man. Go home and go and repair. That's fine for us for now. Oh, no. What's going to happen? What is going to happen here? What a massive waste of resources. Cambodian Democrats win in 53. Oh boy, here we go. Oil stockpile? That's not bad. Eh, not too worried about that. Truck factories might not be too bad either. Yeah, get... Ooh, yeah. Third Spanish Republic. Truck factories, probably. Because we production starts. Tanks and armored cars are great for our military industry, but we need some... We'll need some civilian use, after all. So, why not the best of both worlds and begin pumping up trucks? This can be both sold as a civilian vehicle and a military transport. The most bang for your buck. Refugees from Ukraine. German refugees from the Reichskommissariat Ukraine have arrived in Gotenland. During the first wave of colonization, many settlers left to build a new life in the vast expanses of Ukraine. But now it seems the, dr the dream of a new life in the colonies has not been realized for the German people. Most of them are fit, strong, ideal Aryan men and women that can provide for the greater good of Gotenland. Welcome, Germans, welcome. Welcome, sons and daughters of the Reich. Well, things are falling apart now. There goes Muscovine. Well, oh, that's not good. Hey, get another factory. Nice. Serving Civil War. Everyone's just dying because Sir and Mr. Uh, Hitler died too. Wow, we actually have five cities. Look at that. That's why when you have a lot of resources, people want to import stuff from you. So that's actually really good. We just don't have enough of anything though. Nice. You guys are really good. Good to go. Uh, they've not collapsed just yet, but give them a little bit of time, then they will. We promise you that. I promise you that. Of course, Albania is revolting. The Second Ro Hungarian Romanian War. And Bosnia. Military industry. Truck factories. Country wide improvements. Nice. Get some. Uh. Four civvies. Ooh. I'm not sure. Seems like you get more factories doing this one, so let's do this one. Concentrated, maybe? Oh, actually, that's way too ahead of time. My bad. Um, yeah, do this one instead. That's fine. That's better. Nice. Two days left. Just watching everyone collapse around us kind of sucks. Heavy vehicle factories just so we can produce things slightly faster. Maybe. Hopefully. The Himmler coup. The SS. I was doing stuff, huh? We have our industry industry spread to cater to a wide variety of military demands. We should dedicate a portion of that to heavy vehicles in order to keep with the times. Good. It is 53 still. Military factory construction speed. Not bad. Maybe we want to get some rifles, perhaps, maybe, eventually. I mean, I know we're doing stuff, but still. 
Are you done yet? Stop, 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 stop. Do we have anything in reserve? Absolutely nothing except I have these. That sucks. Remaining hungry, killing each other, which is fine. Just waiting for these guys to explode, so. Truck factories and then we'll heavy vehicle stuff. Three is not bad. Yeah, the world's just falling apart now. Coronation of Elizabeth II. Republic of Turkey, the anti German coalition. Pro German front. Huh. Good luck, guys. Good luck. You're definitely going to need it. Oh, and failure of the tourism industry. Due to the collapse of the Germania government, our tourism industry has been crippled overnight. Our intended facilities for our tourists and our grand hotels are rendered useless. Darn it. Commercialized Scottish. Uh... Oh, we lose that, which sucks. And Gloucestershire tourism industry, huh? Burger of Greek starts. I don't want to touch that because it hurts the stability. So let's not touch that. You and me not touching things. Oh, I just want us to do well, man. Hopefully we do well. I've seen, I've seen like, Hadrish in my own campaigns do it like really well sometimes. So let's hopefully we can do well. If it doesn't, then it doesn't, but still. Alright. Come on. Hurry up. I do need to play similar sometime, though. And there goes our stability. Control the skies. Makes sense. Hmm. Rallying the people. Fanatical warriors. I like that. Truck factories, though. Don't mind us. Oh. We could do, we could do this one. Independent control. Independent Gotenland. Loyalists. Independent Gotland, maybe we'll do this one first. For Gotland to be strong, it must be free of degeneracy that has once more befallen the Reich. We should make sure that no official that holds any degree of loyalty to Germania remains in the halls of power, and no worker that does the same remains on the streets. Because we get some claims here, and we love the claims. Declaration of the Gottesius Reich. Yes. Yes, a thousand times yes. Are we still repairing anything here? No, we're not. We actually have quite a few military factories, which is nice, but we need more resources to work with, which kind of sucks, but whatever. I'm ready to butcher our enemies. Ready, ready, ready. We have no planes, which sucks. We have a few ships, which is nice, but no, no planes. Um, it's not really worth. Yeah, we don't. We can't, we could import some stuff, but lowering our ex export level wouldn't do very much. War reaches the fjords. All right. Who's down here? Chief of Navy Brinkman. We have Apesh. Alpesh. We have Priest. And the Chief of Staff Yek Yekel. Not bad. He's like he likes armor a lot. Oh, good to see Hello. Anton Sade. Do you have a unique focus tree? Sort of, yeah. Dreams of Greater Syria seems really cool. Consolidated Greater Syria. Handling the resistance. Not bad, not bad. Cool, independent Gotland. And I do want to get, grab this up too, quickly. So, with Gotland now free, we are free to act in any way we wish. It is time to grow Gotland to the true glory it deserves, not one dictated by an aging man on an alabaster throne far away, but the will of the leader of a hold of perfect Aryan specimen. Oh, SS control in Denmark. Oh, look at that. A dark chapter for De Denmark? What do you mean? Dark chapter? What type of nonsense is that? Also, I will let you know that I made sure that the Toronto court will not intervene. So. Oh, they don't have unique focus street. Oh, uh, well, they have a little bit, but not very much. Schutzstaffel, Denmark Legion, Danish Legion. Stability goes down, but that's okay. Join the fight. That's kind of cool. Join the fight. Expand Gottish claims. Hey, Dursh has big, big things here. Hungarian coup. Whoa. Tuka. Yep. There goes Hungary. Now they sucked. Cornelio Teodorini. Well. They've been beaten so hard, they lost their unique focus tree. Huh. <laughs> Go figure. Sucks for them. True Aryan state. Let's get that Let's get that stability back, and then we can do some heavy uh, vehicle factories. Thanks to Hitler's folly, the Reich has once more been plagued by foreign democracy, or degeneracy. Twisted beyond recognition from his glorious beginnings. But not all is lost. Despite the excesses of the leeches at his side, the fear will rest easy knowing that at least one true Aryan state remains in the world. We. Or, uh, really, should be said us, but whatever. Um... What if we got rid of one more? Can we actually save stuff there? Get some more of that stuff too. That's fine. More time rifles. Is that slightly cheaper to make for us right now? It's exactly the same thing. Yeah, I don't want to lose progress for the line, so we'll just we we'll have it there, so. It's fine, whatever. <coughs> Let them all kill each other first. 
Um, I like the claims. Hopefully we can core this stuff. I would love to be able to core this stuff. I just want to go to war, man. I want to go to war so badly. Construction 1's not bad. Uh, that stuff can wait. Grab some of this stuff. Encryption, decryption. We need a land auction, too. Ooh. Yeah, we definitely need to do our land auction as well. The Prague Uprising. Alright. We need control Vessel M's. Hanover, our Bremen. Uh, Vulcan. Okay, then whatever. Yeah, the Trudian State is, uh, is the way to go, man. It's definitely the way to go. Urbanized Gotten Land. Urbanizing it will be very good as well. We'll definitely do heavy vehicle factories. Zucum Spencer. Swiss Revolution. Oh, the Swiss are here now. Alright, so. You all. Do we have claims on you? Yeah, we do. 36 divisions, huh? Oh, we can't go to war with them. Wait, so what's the point of getting cores on them? What's the point? Hmm. After this one, we'll probably go ahead and do what? Loyalist exiles? Monthly population? Civilian stuff? We'll probably do this one, and maybe we'll do loyalist exiles. With the Civil War raging, a few loyal sons of the Reichsfeer SS became prodigal. Cast out against their will, and more importantly, unable to complete their sacred duty to the twin lighting lightning. Yet their talents are still needed. And we shall, for the first time, or the for, for the time, forgive their failure and welcome them warmly into our ranks. Reinhard Heydrich summoned. Reinhard Heydrich has been summoned to the lead the SS in Germany before his departure. Heydrich has appointed Alfred Frauenfeld as a provisional commissar of Gotland, ordering him to resume daily operations during his absence. Have a safe trip, Herr Heydrich. Unfortunately, uh, uh, Himmler has passed away, and now the God of Death has to be over there. So now we have Alfred Frauenfeld over here. We do get more political power, which is nice and all, but. We honestly don't really need it. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Very interesting. Actually, can we switch you? Hmm. Well, it's not available, so that kind of sucks. And we're still finishing up heavy vehicle factories. If you'd like to read about that again, please go ahead. Um, hopefully, if... I don't know what's going to happen. What if... I, I, I literally don't know who's going to win. I'm going to assume it's probably going to be whoever's here. Oh, God, the fat man. He loves his substances, though. Holy crud. Hopefully... I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. Um... Yeah, that's all I can say. Let's, let's see what happens. Uh, for us, strategic theorem, asymmetric warfare. I do want to combine our operations. Oh. Motorized stuff would not be bad. Air. What over here? Army attack. No, I think I'm just going to go with this side. I usually choose this side. I like this side. We need more population, too. Let's go strategic theorem. Just go strategic theorem. I'm not even going to bother with anything else. Just just, choose, just choose that one. So after heavy vehicle stuff, the Bastion of National Daddyism. Loyalist uh, exiles. I think I already read this one before... Uh, we faded and faded out, but if you want to read the game, please go right ahead. It's just because I forgot about it. Iraqi oil nationalized. Oh, no, not the oil. Oh, no. But hey, we actually have another division. SS division. Leibisch. Leibstandart. Adolf Hitler. Oh, it goes to greatest Syrian state. What happened to them? Polish democracy restored. Well, that sucks. Wait, why does Iraq own Lebanon? What the heck? Well, some things you just don't want to question. If Hadrish loses, does he come back? I hope he does. I hope he doesn't die over there. I really, just, I just wanted to do this campaign just for him. But, you know, at this point, we might as well attract German refugees. Thousands flee the Reich weekly from the raging civil war, while most are either feeble civilians or traitors degenerates. A few of those who are still holding the true Aryan spirit within them. We shall offer them refuge and reward so that they may strengthen the future stronghold of true national daddyism. Oh, let's hope so, my friends. Let's hope so. Please crush us, Wes, at least. Oh, hey, just please don't lose. Oh, who's over here? Who are you? Schwarz Meer Deutsch Liga. Carlos Stump, American des Designs. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. American Designs, even though you're literally just pro German front work people's settlement defenders. Got this your support. I don't remember supporting them, but okay, sure, why not? Get some more defense and s stuff like that. Oh, there goes Serbia. Social Serbia. Other Serbia's won. Oh yeah, how about this group? I need to play as Benat still. Mr. Happy, except Yanko, it looks really cool and happy. So, attract some refugees, followed up with... Oh, happy 1954, by the way, everyone. Happy 1954. Uh-oh. That sucks. The urbanized Gotland, so we get some more cities. With a tide of flesh flooding Gotland, we need brick and cement to house them all. Abandoning the naturalistic ideal of the true Aryan, we shall begrudgingly expand the cities to accommodate them all, knowing full well that these souls will gladly, or not, repay their bill in full. And I get two more civvies, which would be very nice. We can build more civvies, because we want to build, 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 build. Which I am a little disappointed that we cannot just attack them directly yet. But maybe eventually we can, because we do have claims on them. Just so that when we do this one, Declaration of Gottesreich. Oh, wait. Oh. Ooh. 
Hey, just has to be our leader. Chief of Honolulu, huh? I want to play Japan eventually. Like, I think only anarchist Japan can actually like militarize or go to war with some people. So, eventually, I'd like to do that one as well. This is a waste of time. I don't want to do her voice support. Oh, what is this? Nuclear warhead smuggling. Ooh, fortifying the silos. That's completed. Fortified silos. At least two rocket sites, which we should be able to get in our focus tree. But still, coup d'état in Cuba. Cuba. Hello, Batistas. And Earl Warren. <coughs> Benefits from Japan, of course, and of an as Gotham Lamb. <sighs> Hedrish, please don't lose. At least come back to us, please, Hedrish, Papa. Papa Hedrish, please. Declaration of the Gottish Reich. With the true Aryan once more being free to shape the world in his image, it's time to repeat history like the original. Reichsgründung in 1871 under Bismarck, we shall proclaim the Gottenreich, the true Reich of the Aryan race, and become a master benefiting of Europe for all time. Heil Heydrich. I hope to God that he comes back. Please come back. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on Ada Fettler, who decided to leave us way too early. Actually, for you guys, you can train. That's fine with us. Uh, who's over down here? There what, why does Latvia own that? What? We actually have a good amount of artillery, but why does Latvia own this part of Romania? Uh, well, I guess I, that doesn't make any sense, man. Pro German. That pro German front's looking pretty good. Hans Globke. Congo conflict. Alright. Well then. Nice. Well, we'll see what happens. Ooh. Yeah, this is not looking good for any of us. I mean, if things don't go great for us, then, you know, things don't go great, but still. Oh, well, how about you all? Veselin? Hank Feldmeier. Nice. And nothing unique about him, though. That's unfortunate. What, what do we have over here? Improved working conditions? Why not? We might as well. Right? We might as well. Urban has gotten land. And we'll do oil stockpiles. And we'll focus maybe more on the left side here. Oh, we can't do it too. Right, that's right. Uh, Gautische Luftwaffe. One of the most important parts of modern state is the aerial supremacy. At Gautenland, it is ever to become a model colony. We must master the skies. Oh, God. Please. I just want Hadrish hey, back. That's all. That's, I literally played played as Gotham Land to play as him. Please bring him back. Please bring him back. Uh, we actually might do this one next, just because we're almost at max out stability. Oh. Oh, this is to Germany. Cool. The German Spring. Modern Rocketry. Oh, we spend four times. Four focuses to get down here. Well, actually, it's going to be more than four. Is it? Maybe not. Huh. <coughs> well, I want that other research slot. This stuff is not bad. Disaster Unit Civic Defense Program is not bad either. It's not great. I and mean, we could that one really could wait. And we can't do this one anyway, so. How about modern rocketry program? Yeah, I do want to do a lot of this stuff here too, but. Ooh, actually that's not bad. Better consumer goods, former formation of the G Lufthansa? That's not bad. But not every threat to our existence can be dispatched with a couple of aircraft. We should invest money into improving on the experimental rocket program for the from the last war. Nice, not bad. Look at some more piercing too. Anything to help us out, honestly, like. You know what? Let's save now. I might want to play as People's Germany someday. Maybe they would be very cool to play as. So, and I know some people want me to play as Poland as well, but we'll see. They don't have a lot of manpower, which sucks. But they do have a unique focus tree, so. Victory of New Roses, Liberal Coalition, Conservative Victory, Social Democratic Victory, Successful Revolution, The People's Revolution. Nice. Got to show Luftwaffe. Please survive. Hey, just please. What will we do without you? Construct new rocket sites, though. See, not too bad. With a complete overhaul of the rocket program underway, we must see to it that our capacity of storing and launching rockets is increased substantially. Fantat fanatical dictatorship. Established democracy. Kleptocratic regime. Um, a guarantee society is really bad. Even though it does take away some civvies from us. <sighs> what is this more we do, please? He's 160. Oh. Can we... I wish we had other people we could choose too. Why? I just want to choose other people. We actually have 40 air XP. Look at that. We have five civvies. Not bad. I just wish we could get more involved in the war right now. How, how are, how's everyone here doing? Goring. Manpower is 1 in 2 million. You guys have 1 in 2 million. You guys have about a million-ish. Yeah, these guys are probably going to win. Oh, hey, just please don't lose. Germans of war. Volkstem. Ooh, let's attack. Oh, China lost. Look at that. Looming political crisis. Ooh, that is... Oh, they have no stability. Oh, God. I always hated the war in Thousand Week Reich because the, the, the Toronto Accords would always invade, but it's, it's much nicer when they don't invade. I'll be honest, it's a lot nicer when they don't. And house arrest, very good. 
Germania, not bad, not bad. Von Manstein. Free French state. Alright. UK. Oh, who's Clement? Davies. Huh. Hung, oh, har hung parliament. Your parliament's kind of hung. And long range, high yield. Those who might wish to bring our demise can come from anywhere, and as such, we must be able to inflict heavy damage on our would be invaders before they ever leave their HQ. Cool. Strategic bombing, more bomber agility, which is kind of useless for us, but whatever. Pilot's eye. A couple divisions to help hold the line while everyone else kind of moves around. This is a mess. Europe is a mess, man. Jesus. Why are you poking the Mountain Republic, Don Cossack League? Zhang Shi Shui. Whoa. Did this change from before? I think. Is this. Maybe not. I can't tell. This might be different from when I played it. Then again, maybe this didn't happen here because I was successful. It's not too difficult to beat Vietnam in Thousand Week Ride, but still. 54 engineers would be really better to get, so we get some more entrenchment as well. Still training. We're actually looking relatively okay-ish on some of the stuff. We definitely need more guns, but still. Okay, come on. Come on. Someone, please. I just want Hadrian's back, god dang it. Arrgh. Long range. High yield. Good stuff. Very good stuff. And there we go. Nice. And then, Gotisha Atomkraft. <clears throat> In today's day and age, when the West threatens the existence of the Aryan race with unimaginably destructive weapons, it's obvious more than ever that we must secure our own nuclear program in order to survive. Jumani will help oversee the founding of Gotenland's nuclear program. Oh, oh, they decided to stop killing each other. Okay, well, that's fine with us. Please give us some, some more to deal with. Can we, can we send volunteers? Oh. No, we cannot. We can negotiate the licenses, though. Hold the line. Oh, they get more defense for half a year. Wow. Destruction of the self. Uh-oh. Allows the detonation of nuclear stock. Oh. Chemical warfare. All out waves. Fanatical warriors. Um. Okay, all out waves first before we go literally blow yourselves up. They don't, these guys, the people's... Oh, no. Oh. I was going to say that they've been holding out longer than I really expected them, or I've ever seen them hold out, at least in my campaigns. Oh, what's going on down here? Mexico, you gave up, huh? Republic of Guatemala, Mexico, it's white peace. Catholic society, huh? Anti air, plus 100. It's not bad. Long range, high yield, and we're going to get another research slot. We only have two, but getting three would be very good. Are you actually pushing back out? I mean, the river line's not too bad for you guys. These guys are looking a little better. They actually took back Prague. Nice. Actually, how much did we lose from this one? 3,000? Ooh, I'm not sure if I really want to lose 3,000. Can we do that? Oh, that's not bad. Infantry divisions. Oh, God, we're making garbage here. Um, Light infantry? No way. Actually, what do we have here back? Are these, S these are SS infantry. So, normal infantry. They, the SS infantry actually have less defense. And less breakthrough. What's the point of them, then? They have less organization as well. Slightly more HP. Soft attack is 11.8. Breakthrough 13. Their breakthrough is better. Uh, 1,000 manpower, 20 anti-tank. 1,000 manpower, 20 anti-tank. Oh, guns. This could require even more guns. I'll be honest. What's the point of them? When well, these guys are just as good. Almost. These guys are just not as good. Recovery rate slightly better for them, but... Plus .01 is not worth it. If you get more defense and more soft attack. I don't see the point of that. Like, I get it. They're not SS soldiers, but still. And these guys are really not that great. Jesus. Yeah, they're definitely holding out. Prague has been held. If they can take Dresden or Leipzig or Effort, I'll be kind of surprised, but... This civil war is going to be dragging out for quite a while. Oh, we have had SS Olden shut up there, too. But after Gotosha Atomkraft, what are we going to do? Zukov is not bad. Oil stockpile is not bad. You do get plus one rubber, which could be very helpful. So, oil stockpile. The coming years will be tough. Many conflicts to come and more to endure. For this, we need a modern army. A mm -mm, modern army hungers for oil. We shall nourish it plentifully. Germans crush in Ukraine. Well, I wish we had some actions we could take here. Because we're, we're raring to go. We're, we're good to go, man. Please let us go. Better engineers, not bad. Happy 55, everybody. Let's grab some more output. I'm gonna go get industrialized. 
Get another civvy. Get more civvies that way. Nice. Yeah, they're pushing out. Look at that. They're definitely pushing out against uh, Nuremberg. Not bad. These guys might actually lose. I don't think I've ever seen Manstein win, though. He's an old general, but... He'll do okay. Human waves as well. Local defense. No national focus set. Human waves, of course. Last defense. Just same thing. Deep defenses. <sighs> Nothing like always having a German civil war. Even though you can't avoid it, so... That's a nice crown. Oh. Well. There goes those guys. Another garbage infantry division. A call to arms. The capital has been lost to what some call the idealist revolution. Huh. Alright, well. Hey, third reduce slot. Finally, thank goodness. Get some more soft attack as you can. Alright, oil stockpile. And... Volksflieger. That's not bad. Next generation aircraft initiative. That's not bad either. Hey, Ukrainians. Oh, fortified silos. Are ready for operation. Ooh. Airfield construction is okay. It's not great. I do want to get through that one pretty quickly. That'll be pretty good. So, airfield construction. As a result of the previous war's devastation, there are hardly any functioning airships within Gotham. We must see to this at once. Nice. War propaganda? We really don't need it, but I mean, I don't mind taking it. Yeah, taking these guys on might be a little difficult. Oh, you're a bunch of fascists. Ah, uh, finally, people's Germany's gone. No, let's see what happens. Can I say attache? Yeah, we got all the political power. We might as well. How about Hadrish? Hopefully, we get. Oh. Yeah? At least we can see what's happening here now. Wow, this guy's looking really bad. Really bad. He's with the manpower. Just probably not enough equipment. Yeah, he still might lose. Like, yeah, he's probably going to lose. This is looking really bad for him. Polio vaccine? Uh, vaccinated? Okay. Come on, guys. Give it a little more love. A little more love. God, that looks so incredibly weak. And Gotenland Regional Airport. The first step we should take in our goal as air center of the Reich is to first create a small airport capable of domestic flights within Gotenland itself. Come on. If they give it one good old push, they could probably win here. But yeah, they've been doing really well over here too. They pushed way past Nuremberg, which is kind of surprising, I'll be honest. Ah... <sighs> Anti is not bad, but still, man. Still. I don't know why Goring is just not attacking. Like, these guys are looking so bad. It's just so bad. Actually, how many APCs and stuff do we have? We don't have very much. <coughs> APCs actually are okay. Main battle tanks are pretty bad. You know what? Screw it. Just train everybody. So these divisions have what? APCs... Anti-air, anti-tank, artillery. They're just missing like guns and stuff. A lot of the simple stuff. Even name tank, medium tank destroyers is what they need as well. Banana offers a deal, lacking allies and seeking to protect itself from dangerous neighbors. Banana has offered us a deal in exchange for the material support. They're on their own. We show eight or S's brothers. Banat deal. We lose a thousand manpower. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Well, we need more civvies or millies too, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, huh. How much manpower do we get actually by saving this? Alright, so now where are we at? You can't recognize the government. That's fine. Grab some of that because you can. Got to concentrate industry, we'll probably go with. Uh, retention cap base. I'll go with this one, batch production one. Followed up with Gatusha Lufthansa. Lufthansa is the Reich's largest airline. However, no commercial plans go this far east yet. We will sign a contract with Lufthansa's Germania office to begin operations to and within Gotland. No, Sobieska is gone. All right, all right. My God, just someone win. Someone, for the love of God, just win here. Oh yeah, they're definitely trying. I just don't think Hadrix is going to win, man. I hope we get an escape because we want to get our focus done. Look at that. That division is literally just going to die there. Oh, maybe not. Oh, they're pushing in. Militia. That's why I hate using militia, man. It's looking a lot better. Artillery's not too bad. Guns are really bad, though. 
Artillery is bad. Anti-air is bad. APCs. Oh, so 70. Uh, 19 breakthrough. 19 breakthrough. No hardness. 10 soft attack. No hardness. 7.7 .7 hard attack. Hard attack for the 7.24 supplies. So the SS use more supplies. Six suppressions, fuel capacity 57, air attack plus one. Exactly the same. Organization 3.1, HP 30. This has more HP, less organization. Armor is zero. Piercing plus one. Zero plus one. Plus five, two. Weight plus one. Weight plus one. Fuel usage the same. So this is slightly cheaper to use. Combat width. Combat width 1200, 50, 20, 150. This is just cheaper and better to use. I'm like. Bros. Seriously, bros. We can always take this one off. Yeah, we might just do that. A lot of this, these divisions just don't make any sense. Uh, requires Gotesha Lufthansa. We get International. We get two radar stations and air base at the 10. Or two. Yeah, two. 10. With the air infrastructure now in place throughout Gotham, perhaps it's time we begin construction of our largest project yet. A large international airport capable of processing hundreds of the Reich citizens as well as those of the Fatherland's allies. Might as well, right? Yeah, these guys are going to lose. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, they just got some divisions of rent. That sucks for you guys. Please, c baby, come back. Baby, come back. Hey, Drish, please. I know I've asked and said this before, but please, please, please. God, I just want to kill off enemies so we can get some more supplies. Hey, Drish, no. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, overran. Oh, overran. These guys are going to die. Oh, these guys are going to die because the capital's down here. Even the capital can't hold. Oh my goodness, that sucks. No. No. The capital's fallen. You know what's weird? When Calais is a capital and they're dead. They're literally dead. God dang it, that sucks. Oh, they're up here too, maybe. Where? Well. Well. Hey, Trish? Oh boy. Oh boy. So, uh, now what? Pro. Formation of the G Lufthansa. The formation of the Gatosho Lufthansa marks the golden age of Gatosho tourism. Tourists will be flown in with their own airline, increasing our income by notable margin. Enjoy your flight on Gatosho Lufthansa. Yeah, get more political power, even though we don't really need it anymore. Uh, so what do we do about Hadrish? Do we just never get him again? Does he just, just not coming back? Please tell me he comes back. For the love of God, please tell me he comes back. Maybe once the Civil War is over, he comes back. Because I don't want to restart this. And if we do, then so be it, but still. Unless he's been executed or something. <sighs> Roll ring, why? Why does the fat man have to win? Yeah, Monstein's definitely gonna lose here. War reaches Denmark. Wait, what? What do you mean? Denmark is already gone. And Sal's bug will fall just like the rest. I mean, if we have to, I will use console commands, but, like, please, 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 please. And you guys probably know in the comments below, like, if I made a mistake. Let's see what happens when the war is over. Maybe we'll get him back. Maybe, maybe not. I don't like that. We have to, you have to take literally every single tile? That's a bit extreme, man, don't you think? Maybe not. Maybe it is. Maybe not. At least we made an airport. The Gotland International Airport has been completed through blood and toil. A massive international airport and engineering miracle in Aryan history. The Gotland International will be capable of handling millions of tourists every year and is designed to withstand any type of air traffic. Enjoy your stay. Fortified silos. In the event of a catastrophic nuclear contact or conflict, our enemies will want to bring our silos out of commission with one or two well-placed atom bombs. We must shield ourselves in any way possible. And shield our silos, really. Uh, attacks, heart attacks, planning... Defense and organization. I that's just ooh, get soft attack or defense. I like the entrenchment. We're gonna be probably need that honestly more, and get more organization, which is really good as well. So, come on, just finish off the war. There you go. So, end of the German Civil War. So the war is over. So now what? Do we just die here? I'm not entirely sure. Um, what does he do with the guys that lost? People's will and Hitler's Reich. 
The Schutzstaffel in Burgundy. Um, symbol of greatness. United against communism, diplomatic ties. Oh, what is this one? More than 99 political power. Halting Operation Reinhard. Benat. I'm not entirely sure, so... I think I might just end the episode here, because we probably have to, but... We'll read the Bastion of National Socialism. Our brothers across the Reich have fallen far from grace. Scotland, however, remains pure. It is imperative to the survival of National Socialism that we project this in everyday life. We must take measures to improve area military measures here. But let me know in the comments below. Should we do Volksflieger program, or should we do Next Generation Aircraft Initiative? Please let me know in the comments below. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow, where we'll try to figure out whether we can get Hadrian back or not. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.